In this review we look at four NZG models. 9371-60 is a Mercedes-Benz Arox SLT and 65660 is a Notaboom Euro PX 5 axle low loader and dolly. 93260 is a Mercedes-Benz Actros SLT and 65560 is a Notaboom Euro PX 3 axle low loader. All we've seen so far is boxes so let's take a bit more of a look at them. And both of the Mercedes models have a Daimler hologram logo showing their genuine licensed merchandise. The boxes are NZG branded and there's no information about the real trucks. And when you pull them out there's a plastic former that locks together two expanded polystyrene trays. All you've got to do after that, and I assure you it's no big effort, is to separate the trays, move a piece of paper, and then you can lift the model right out. Both the trucks come in the same style of packaging, and both of the trailers do too. This is a nice Notaboom branded box, and again there's no information about the real trailer. Come on, pull out the insides, that's it. Just give it a bit more of a pull, that's it. As you can see the packaging is basically the same style. So if you get the first one right, it's no problem to do the rest. And if you make a mess of the first one, you've got three more chances to do better. This is the three axle trailer, and if we lift it out, we see there are various parts in the box. There's no assembly to do on the Mercedes, but we're going to do truck trailer combinations. So let's hook up the trailer, and clunk click does the trick. We have paired the Arox with the three axle trailer, which is a bit small for it really. And the first thing we'll do is fill in the wheel wells with metal parts. Next we'll add some detail with some pressing marker boards on the gooseneck. And there's a couple to add at the back and we'll put them right at the back. And NZG has provided a couple of spares in the box because the marker boards are delicate. With that the first of our truck trailer combinations is ready for the road. And now we'll move on to the bigger trailer. This one has a two axle dolly and it's a little bit tricky to clip the gooseneck into place. But once you line it all up it clicks into place. After that we can attach the dolly to the tractor, add on the deck, and then add on the marker boards in exactly the same way as for the free axle. For the detail we'll start with the Arox, and it has a metal chassis with functionally modelled steering. The cab looks good with its beacon lights on top, there's a two-tone interior, and a nice grille and towing hitch. The wheels look smart, and there's another nice grille behind the cab. And that's all part of the equipment tower, which is mainly plastic, but it looks good. The wheel arches have diamond plated surfacing, and at the back the lights have plastic lenses. A nice touch on these NZG models is the see-through roof light. That detail is shared with the Actros, with most of the differences being the cab, the two-tone colour scheme, and the differently shaped wheel arches. The two Notaboom trailers also share most of the detailing. Underneath the free axle it's all fairly simple with some nice axle sets. And the gooseneck has got some textured diamond plated surfaces and spare wheels at the front. The deck is all metal with the timbers replicated by a painting. And at the back the lights are detailed well and there's a nice Notaboom logo. The bigger trailer has a longer gooseneck and it also has spare wheels at the front. And the dolly's also got a detailed power pack. Going back to the gooseneck, another nice detail is the control console. The deck and rear module have a similar level of detailing to the free axle. We will start out by giving the Arox a run, and the Actros is basically the same. It rolls very smoothly because of its heavy weight, and the link steering performs well because you can get a good hard lock. With the Arox hooked up to the free axle trailer, let's move on to that. And at the rear there is linked parallel steering with a very good range of movement. You can simulate loading of the trailer by removing the deck from the gooseneck. And if you want, you can also detach the deck from the rear module by taking out a pin. If you want, you can extend the deck width. And to do that, you press in some full length metal pieces. And this is certainly an easier and quicker way to change the deck configuration rather than using lots of separate timber lengths as on the real trailer. Something else you can add is deck posts onto the module, 
although you might have to invest some time to get them to stand up straight. So look, you've seen the features of the trailer, but let's get it loaded up. And to start with, we'll just put on a couple of pieces of access equipment. I'm not sure about the crazy angle of the one at the back, but it's on board. Coming into view is a large Liebherr wheel loader. And this trailer's got a nice design feature, which is wheel wells. You can remove the plates and then the big wheels of the piece of plant sit right in them. And that has the advantage of reducing the overall headroom of the load. It works well on the model and the only other thing we need to do as the load is a little bit wide is to flip round the marker boards at the back. The five axle trailer has got parallel linked steering at the rear and it also has a very good range of movement. This is a big trailer and it's got a big trailer feature and you get access to that by removing a couple of locking pins and then you can stretch out the trailer because it's extendable. It also has the ability to attach width extensions on each side and if you like sticking things in holes you can put posts into the module and into the deck edges. If you're going to display the trailer with something heavy on the deck then you might want to pack it out with something underneath to stop it becoming grounded. And there's another trick which we're going to do in a clunky fashion. And that's to put a post in the gap of the gooseneck mechanism. And that will stop it closing up. So a big trailer demands a big load. And here is a heavy one. And this is one of NZG Models Liebherr piling rigs. It is a heavy model but even so the trailer manages it. Of course if you don't want to use the giant hand crane to load the trailer. Then you can do it the way it should really be done. So the deck gets disconnected from the gooseneck. The Actros drives the dolly out of the way. And then the piling rig does a handbrake turn and makes its way onto the trailer deck. Fully extended it's a long trailer so let's carry out a dim check. And overall from end to end it's 25 inches or 64 centimetres. These four models from NZG all have a typically high metal content and although the trailer models are re-releases from around 10 years ago they still look good and they're nice and robust. Each of these four are interchangeable and because of their colour they go well together and all of them are rated as very good. <laughs> 